Every weekday, Lotus FM presenter Sonoba Khan guides listeners through the afternoon traffic and her vivacious on-air personality helps to make the commute a lot more bearable. This leaves her mornings free and she arranged to meet Michelle for breakfast. What I love most about living in South Africa, there is so many places that I've yet to discover. One such place is the lychee orchard right here in Durban. It's a working farm, but also a green haven of good food, design and decor. Joining me today is rising star Sonoba Khan. But while I wait on her, those pastries are calling my name. Hello. Michelle was mesmerized by the sweet temptation on display and it didn't take long to make a selection. Thank you. <laughs> Caught in the act by one of Lotus FM's Afternoon Drive presenters, Sonoba Khan. Welcome to Mela. Thank you so much. Well, I haven't started. So would you like to join me for breakfast? Absolutely. Shall we get to it? Let's do it. Heading off the beaten track is Sonoba's preferred path through life. Although she has been guided by a girlhood dream of carving a career on radio. Something smells incredible. I love the smell of this place. <laughs> Hello ladies, the delicious sisters themselves. What do you recommend fresh and seasonal for us? I would say our eggs benedict. It's the most popular item on the menu and have it with smoked salmon. And my favorite thing on the breakfast menu is our shishushka bowl, which is a spicy tomato and red pepper sauce. Both sound so incredible. What are you choosing? I'll go with the shishushka bowl. I'll do the eggs benedict, please. Sonoba, you've been traveling quite a bit. Any memorable moments you'd like to share? I love turning my highs and lows into actual highs and lows. I spent about 10 days in Mauritius in Jan, and I turned my lows into diving, kneeling on the seabed, absolutely magnificent. And a day later, I turned my highs into climbing one of the peaks in Mauritius. It's called Le Monde. It's about five to 6,000 feet above sea level, and it was magnificent. Travelling is truly an opportunity to explore the world. What does it mean to you? It means so much to me. I've always done trips alone. It allows you to feel and connect with yourself. It teaches you to be strong mentally, physically, emotionally. I love it. They say that you truly get to know somebody when you travel with them. How would you describe yourself as a traveller? The first word that comes to my mind is adventure. I love a great adventure and I just go with my heart. Oh. Ooh, speaking of adventurous, look at that yes, beautiful it's delicious. bowl. Delicious. Bon appétit. Merci. Sonoba has suggested that Michel should enjoy a hearty breakfast, but he wasn't sure precisely why he'd need the stored up energy. I'm at Durban Beachfront and I wonder what Sonoba has in store for me. I see bicycles, I see go-karts and a skate park. I don't know. I am loving the new look. Thank you. Something a little more comfy and appropriate for a cycle along the beach. Oh, that sounds great. Sonoba loves to cycle, so she knows all the best routes in Durban. Wow, this is absolutely spectacular. I can understand why you love it here. This is my city. I love it. I love the energy. Oh, wow. That was a lot of fun, but I think we worked up a good thirst. I think so. Something sweet, something icy? You had me at sweet. <laughs> Meanwhile, the wind had been blowing in a cold front filled with rain from the south, and Michelle and Sonoba found shelter as the first drops began to fall. I thought Cape Town had four seasons in one. It looks like Durban does too. We made it just in time. I'm so happy that we did. <laughs> what were you like growing up? I was a very adventurous child and much of an old soul, which led me to my degree in field of study in psychology and media. I loved entertainment. I loved drama. So that was me. Where do you see yourself in the future? I do want to further my academic study. And um, the end goal, I would say, or one of the goals, is to start a foundation for girls and women in the field of psychology and grow my brand within the media industry. It's been so much fun here in Durban and regardless of the weather, it is the warmest place to be. 